So let's clear up education. Alabama history library funding threatened over LGBTQ plus history event. Republicans are threatening the funding of the Alabama archives after it hosted a lecture on LGBTQ plus history in Alabama. Republican lawmakers believe it is a quote, woke liberal political agenda for the Alabama Department of Archives and History to host an event that's, that educates others about history. The event occurred on June 15th in Montgomery. Dr. Megan Sullivan, co-founder of the Invisible Histories Project, held a lecture about LGBTQ plus history in Alabama. Prior to the event, a right-wing website released a story quoting Alabama House Majority Leader Scott Stothagen and State Rep Jamie Kill. Both politicians denounced the event as promoting a liberal political agenda. Sullivan said the event was funded by a grant from the Alabama Humanities Alliance, not taxpayer money. The human rights campaign located in Alabama said in a statement, quote, Alabama has a long history of attempting to erase the histories of marginalized individuals. So the latest statements by certain lawmakers are no surprise, but equally concerning. As the nation's oldest LGBTQ plus civil rights organization, we stand firmly with the ADAH in its commitment to preserving the history of all Alabamians. We've already lost countless historical accounts and stories through uh, past attempts to erase history. Events like these are what preserving history truly in, looks like." End quote. Uh, this just reminds me of a threat by one of the reps here in South Florida, Chip Lamarca, Republican in Broward, who threatened to essentially defund the Broward County Library uh, because of books, uh, LGBTQ books and stories. And so there's really a movement across this country by Republicans to, to burn books, ban books, and defund libraries. So it's not really a surprise to see that in Alabama. And I don't know what they're afraid of. That's the part that really bothers me. What are you afraid of by, by telling history? Like, what do you gain by erasing people's past? You know, just make it look more pure, like we, this never happened. We never had slavery. We never, never were boycotted or against the LGBTQ plus community. I mean, it's a fact. It's there. You know, and if it's not in history, history will repeat itself and we'll have the same kind of violence and, and everything that we've gone through in the past because history repeats itself, especially if you're not educated. So I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to tell you what they're afraid of. Don't be of. sorry. It's quite a what, what they're afraid of is having their children read that they were the ones who True. stood out Absolutely. against all of these people. They, they don't want their children to realize that on this neighborhood at this time, these people were either stoned, burnt, house was put on fire, um, they were thrown out of a building. And then the children begin to realize, hey, I live, we lived here. This was our home. Oh, was it you that did that? So they're afraid of, their, of being called out on their own shortcomings and their, and their own error, their error's ways. And so what better way to say it never happened than to erase it from all, all history. And I say, family, be woke. Stop allowing them to take woke as a negative term. What woke means is you're fighting for, you're standing up, you're letting your voice be heard. So be woke. Don't allow them to take away your ability to exist. But not only that, I think there are two things that I've gotten out of this. First of all, it, you know, it's these politicians opportunity to do theater. You know, this is, they're getting the dog whistles out in Alabama that this is a, uh, under a quiet uh, religious issue for them. That's fine. You can believe whatever the hell you want with religion. However, and this has been uh, one of my biggest stances here is we as a gay community have to start talking about our history. Amen. We do not do that. Right here in Fort Lauderdale, we have the Stonewall Library, a national museum and library that I bet you if you walked out on the street, 70% of the people wouldn't even know existed walking down Wilton Manors. We need to talk about our history. We need to, and the reason for that is not only just to educate ourselves as a community, the LGBTQ plus community, but also to educate our family and our friends and say, look, we've been here since the beginning of time. It's not an issue that we've chosen this. This is who we are. God made us this way and we are perfect in every way that we've been made. So we need to talk about what we've brought to the world and stop all these myths and stop all these fabrications and half truths that the world who doesn't want us to exist keeps perpetuating. Yeah, and it's funny to me, um, Republicans are on a world tour right now talking about how everyone is indoctrinating kids, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything from our side. No, it's uh, all the Republicans doing know, the indoctrination. I haven't seen a book be thrown out by us. I haven't seen anyone go in there and say, hey, this book is kind of sus, throw it out. And and to me, that's just it's very awkward. I mean, the only ones seeming to be indoctrinating our kids are the Republicans. Mm -hmm. Take this book out, take that book out, fire teachers, change the entire curriculum. They did this not just with LGBTQ books and history, with black history in mm -hmm. Florida, we did that with the 
uh, Stop Woke Act. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, you know, this, the real snowflakes in this instance are the Republicans. The real indoctrinators are the Republicans who want to sell a rosy view of the country. And it's okay. Like, uh, it's okay to acknowledge the shortcomings of the country. You know, slavery, okay. we had all of these forms of discrimination. That doesn't make me love the country less. It just makes me understand where we come from and where we're going. Well, also doesn't give anyone a chance to, to ask for forgiveness. You know, this fear that someone will find out my family was involved in one of these, you know, things of, of tying a kid up who's LGBT. You know, I don't want anyone to learn about that. Well, then you, if you, then you continue to fear what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And if you own up to what your past is, it doesn't mean you did it, but your family did it. You know, then, then you can say, look, that was my family. What they did was wrong, but right. you can never do that if you never knew it happened. Right. You know, it, yeah, it's crazy. And, and we're not throwing out the folks who are molesting children. We're not throwing out the, the folk, the men who are cheating on their wives. We're not right. folks. We're not throwing out the those lawmakers who are sending those texts and those news shots. We're not throwing out any of those things. But yet, you know, we want to throw out what they say the indoctrination process is. However, when children see it every day, the drag community is a perfect example of learning. that. Yeah. Yeah. Drag, so. drag queens are not indoctrinating children. It's right. priests and other folks that are out there that you hear these stories of incest and rape and all the stuff that Documented goes on profanity stories. documented of these people that then don't go to jail. I can grab them by grab her by her or from, politicians who you know, are on their wives. Or, or, right. That, that's the, yeah, and that's absolutely. okay. And that's okay. Never happened. It never happened. And so again, we, we know who the real villains of this of this true story is. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.